In this exercise, we're going to look at how we can use the onEdit event so to actually react to changes in our spreadsheet. So I have a spreadsheet here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and start off in this column A. And I've got my script editor open, and let's go ahead and just change this to onEdit. And if we go ahead and ch add a log message here, we can add something here that just says something was edited. And when we modify something in our spreadsheet, let's say we set this to zero, we will actually get a message in our log. And we can see something was edited. But this is more useful if we can change this and add an event. So let's go ahead and add some event parameter here because on edit is going to be called with some kind of event that's going to allow us to see some information. Uh, now we can use this EVT and we can retrieve some of the values from it. We can retrieve things like the old value, you know, so we might want to see what that last value was before it was changed. So let's go ahead and add in EVT dot get or dot old value. Now when we come into this and we change this 2 to 0, if we look at our log, we'll see that the old value was 2. Was two. So we could say something was edited, previous value was, and you know we can change this again. We'll go ahead and change that 3 to a 0. And if we look at our logs, we'll see the previous value was 3. And we can also use this to actually retrieve the range. So, uh, you know, if we wanted to say log or log, the cell edited was at row, and we can retrieve that range. So we'll go ahead and say var range is equal to evt dot range, and we'll say the cell edit was edited was at row range dot get row and column range. Uh, range dot get column now if we change something we should be able to see both of those messages on our log and we can see that was at row 4 and column 1 so we could actually use this to uh, determine uh, what happened in, or to, to, to check values in a particular range so here we have uh, column 4 row 5 all the way up to column uh, 7 row 9 uh, and we could use this to very easily validate data, similar to what we might have done with data validation. But in this case, we can actually do something a little bit more than that. So function on edit uh, EVT. We'll go ahead and comment this first block out. So let's go ahead and we can actually select all that code and hit command uh, or maybe control. Yeah, we can hit control and then the forward slash, which will add comments to all of those lines. And using this on edit, we can actually check where this happened. So var range is equal to evt dot range, and if range dot get row is greater than or equal to, and we said we want to start off at row five, so greater than or equal to five, and range dot get column is greater than or equal to and d is column 4 and range dot get row and we want to do less than or equal to now so we want to check to see if this is in row 9 or less and range dot get column is less than or equal to and we want to check uh, this is column 4 so 5 6 7 is less than 7 now we only we only want to validate in this case. You know, if we're not in this case, we will say logger uh, get or just log uh, cell was out of range. So if we modify something here, you know, if we put in a zero here or a zero here, we should see when we go into our log cell was out of range. But here we can log and say the cell is in range logger.log check if it is and we said on our spreadsheet we were going to check to see if it was between 100 and 200 100 and 200 so we can get the value for that uh, that range range dot or that for the cell we'll just go ahead and say oh. var value is equal to range dot get value if value is greater than or equal to 100 and 
value is less than or equal to 200, we could just let this go. Or we could say if value is less than 100 or value is greater than 200, then we can change this. We can say logger.log invalid value detected. And we could set this to something else. Let's say we just set this value to zero to 100 at this point. Range dot set value 100. Now, if we enter a zero here, it should modify automatically to 100. And if we set 202, it should also automatically update. And if we set this column, this last cell down here, to say five, it should automatically update. But these other ones, they shouldn't because we're, we're checking them properly. So we can see that you know we aren't modifying the values outside of this box, but because we're looking at only these values within uh, between column four and seven and between row five and nine, we are only modifying these particular values. And if we change you know one of these again, if we put in a two, then we should be able to view our log and see you know we detected an invalid value and we have all of this uh, this all of these other log messages so hopefully this illustrates how you can use that on edit event and how you can use an event object to just retrieve the range or to uh, retrieve these old values so that you can do a little bit of validation a little bit of verification and uh, hopefully let the user know a little bit about what might be happening or how to correct the spreadsheet um, for now though thanks for watching